So along with all of the views that come with Drupal, we can of course add new views. And we did this in the beginner class. We did some pretty simple views and a couple of more complex ones. In this tutorial, however, we're going to focus on a contextual filter. A contextual filter allows you to filter content based on the dynamic information Drupal provides instead of setting a static filter value. Contextual filters provide you with more convenience by fetching values from variables, either programmatically or from a URL. So in this exercise, we're going to create a view in Drupal that only displays content created by the logged in user. Go ahead and if you're not already there, click on structure and views and click add new view. The view name is my articles. We'll set the content to show type of all, of course. We'll create a page since this is a landing page of my articles and you'll see the title and the path and to keep it simple we'll just do an unformatted list of titles that are linked so unformatted list of linked titles go ahead scroll down click save and edit so right now what we've got if you look down here is a listing of all of the nodes on our site by every author and while that's okay, it's not what we want. So you'll notice here the filter criteria. If we were to add this here, we could only set it up for one user at a time because it's not a contextual filter, it's a static filter. Over here on the right hand side, click on the advanced drop down and you'll see contextual, relationships, exposed form, and some other information about this view. Go ahead and click on add next to contextual filters. Do a quick search for authored and you want to grab the second one for the content category authored by. Click apply. When the filter is not in the URL, we want to provide the default value, not fixed, but get the user ID from the logged in user. This is going to contextually filter every node by whoever is logged in. Click apply all displays. Now when I scroll down, you'll see there are the nodes that have been assigned to me as the user when we use Devel and of course the Welcome to Sydney node we created first off in the course. Click Save. Head back out to your home page and add the my-articles to the URL and there's a listing of your articles. If we logged in as any of the other fake users that Devel generated, we'd be able to see the listing of their articles. That's a really simple example of a contextual filter, but it's a good one. It helps us to see just how dynamic filters work in views.